Welcome back to the Mega Man like miniseries. Today we're going to make a title screen and then we're going to link it to the scene that we've been making so far. And so with that said, let's get started. All right, so the first thing that we need to do is we need to make a new scene. We're going to call it title and then we're going to just leave it a one by one and we're not going to add any tile sets or anything. This should be all that we need. So we're going to hit OK here and I'm going to delete, whoops, going to delete these other layers that we do not need. And I'm just going to change this layer to main. It's usually what I call uh, things like title screens and things like this. And now we're going to add some resources onto here. So in the images, we're going to add our background for the title screen. So there's a few ways you can go about it. You can actually add the separate things like the title screen and then the logo right here, or you can just put them all in the uh, same uh, height kind of a thing. And so I'm just going to go and do that. All right. And that's all we really need. This is all I really want for the title screen is just this background. The other stuff that we're gonna make is gonna be via text. And you'll see what I mean here in, in a bit. So we're gonna add the animation here. We're gonna call it the title. And then we're gonna add that resource. And we're gonna hit okay. Now, the one thing that I do know is that this is actually 50% uh, uh, bigger than it should be. It's, it's not the, same, it's not the uh, correct resolution. I'm going to cut this and uh, cut this and this should be all that we need. I'm going to name it though. So this will be the uh, background and there's only one. And I'm going to leave the center on and the origin on the top left. So we're going to go to, oops, not a folder. We're going to add an object. I'm going to name it title. This will be the background or actually it will be a image and then it's going to be of the background. So usually when I'm naming stuff, I do what it's for, and then what it is, and then the uh, uh, what specifically it is. I found that it helps me organizing things. It's easy to search as well. So if I'm looking for an image, IMG, and then it brings up images. All right, we're going to give that neutral and no detections. And the first thing, very important, we are going to zero out the gravity. And that should be it. It's literally just the background. That's all it is. And we're going to go to our scene here and we're going to plant it and go zero, zero, and it will bring it right to here. Now, if we start out this scene and we hit play test, there is our tile screen. All right. So now let's add the uh, buttons that you press. So in the resources, now we're going to go to text and we're going to add a text. And this is going to be our uh, title. And we're going to say this is when start is selected. And what we're going to do is we're going to say exactly what is the options going to be. So we're going to have start. We're going to have load. We're going to have, uh, let's do credits. And below this, we'll have options, credits, and then lastly, we'll have exit. Now, we don't have a preview because we haven't selected a font. So let's just do 8x8 here. And we will see that we do kind of want these a little more spaced out. And so I'm going to add some line spacing. That's probably a little too much. So I'll go down to 8, see how that looks. And we'll go with four and yeah that looks fine and maybe the capitals don't look well but just really this font in general doesn't look well but we'll just do this for right now so this is how it's going to be displayed it's going to say start load options credits exit and but this one is going to be the one where start is selected so how do we make the start selected uh, basically we can go and we can do a text tag and we're going to do one that changes the color. So the first thing that we need, I, I just kind of copied so that I would remember. We're going to go to the start here and we're going to uh, text tag it here, um, but we're going to change the color. And I think uh, for green, this can just simply be zero. This can be zero or wait, wait, no, this is a two, five, five. Yeah. And then this can be zero as well. And so that it's going to give the the green look to it. 
Now, the important thing is we see that all of it's green now. And so what you have to do is yes, you have to close out the color when you're done. So this will uh, be good for, for knowing exactly how to do this. And so yeah, there's our text tag right here. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to create one where the load is the green and then one where the options is the green and so forth and so forth. So I'm probably going to speed this up and you're just going to see a bunch of copy pasting and reordering the uh, text tag. All right, so this last one, I didn't even bother closing it out because it's going to be the last one. And so with that, now we can start adding these onto the screen. So we can go to objects here and we can now create a, a title. This will be a control and it will be for the input. And we don't even have to give it an animation. Uh, we will neutral this all out. And the last thing, we will zero out the gravity. Now, an easier way, instead of just making everything, every object not have gravity, is you can go to scenes, you can click on scene settings, you can scroll down here at the very bottom, and you can just say that gravity actually equals zero. So the whole scene, the gravity will equal zero. So you won't have to adjust any of those kind of objects or anything. Okay, so now that we have this, let's just get this going. So this is gonna be when uh, start is the selected one. We're going to go to uh, op or page three here, show text, if I can find it, here we go. And then we're gonna just say the start, okay? And we can edit it here, but we've already edited it. And now we can say no time limit. And we'll just leave this as is, and we'll say no on the uh, display here. I'm gonna take away the padding, and we're just gonna go center and center for this. And we're going to say hide on object action. This is going to be important. And the rest of the stuff, it really d doesn't matter. Uh, the position and stuff, this is just a title screen. It's a one layer title screen. All right, so we're going to hit OK. And now we can plop this on to the uh, game here. And we can actually see how it's going to look. OK, so that is a little out of position. Let's try right here. And it just needs to come down probably too much, but I think that gets the point. So yeah, let's keep it like this. And so when we centered it, it kept it like this. Let's, let's try it with uh, lining it from the top and the left here. And let's see how that looks. So, oh, so you can see for some reason it took it way out of balance there but you can see that they're aligned from the left. And it's probably because I had it on, uh, use the center of this object. So it's aligning to the top left of this uh, area. So yeah, that, that makes sense. So yeah, there's just some positioning things that you just have to get used to, depending on how you like your uh, layout. I actually like it where they're centered. So I'm just going to recenter them. I just want to show that option there. And then I can move this back to where I had it. I think it was like right here. And yeah, that is, that looks good. Okay, so now let's get to the input part. So we have the start right here. And then we're going to have the next one, which is to load. Now I'm not necessarily going to go into these right now. I might go into a couple, but uh, for instance, we don't have a save system right now, so there's no reason to do load, but we know that we will want load eventually. And so we will say on press. So when we press down, we're going to go to load. And then naturally when we press up, we go to here. So now the load one is go not going to run the title start. It's going to run the title load. And so now when we uh, play test this, we can see that we can press down and it goes to load press start and it or press up and it goes back to start. So this is a really cool way, easy way to just get some text and have it look like you're selecting something. And as you can guess, we can do this for for everything else. So let's go. I think I have three more here. So this one is options. This one is credits. And then this one is 
exit. And then literally we just copy paste these uh, links because they're the same inputs. Now load, you could do some cool things with, you could do where it's grayed out and it skips it if you can't load. And maybe I'll show that in another video, but for this one, I just want to, to show this because it's just as easy to not send them to a load. Now, the only thing I forgot is to change these to the proper show text. So I'm going to do that right now. Credits. And then exit. And there we go. Now we have our, our selection method. Now, just for the record, if you got custom art and stuff like that, please use that over the sh this uh, show text method. I just thought it was a really cool method. It's very, very nice for game jams, things where you need to go uh, very, you know, very simply get things done. Okay, so when we press start, we want it to basically start the game. So we're going to copy this right here. And we're going to add a link right here. And this is gonna be when A is pressed. And this is gonna be a start game. And you can actually get rid of the title screen so that when you press it, so we can try this right now. So I'm on start, I press A and it disappears. You could also do it to where it displays the start game. So we could go to resource to text here and we could even create a new one. And we could just say title uh, start uh, game and literally all it could be is this one with this and i think four just to be consistent then we can go back to object and we can click well let's copy this since we have it all set up and then go to start game so now when we press this press a it goes to start and actually what we would want is to make sure that we had all of these uh, spaces in here as well. So we would go like this, except for we would zero these out. Then when we do this, the start, well, maybe we need to add another one. Maybe I messed that one up. So now when we press start, it stays right there. So you can manipulate positioning and stuff with, with extra uh, blank lines and, and things like that. So just, just so you're aware. All right. So now how does it actually start? So we can go to transitions here under, under right here, and we'll just move it to the first screen here. These are just scenes that we have tested in the past. So you can actually delete them if you want. So we go to, from the start of the application or the game, we go to the title screen. And then from there we go to scene one. Now this is going to happen when the previous scene ends. And then we're gonna make it to where it does a black fade out. We'll just say 0.5. And then we'll say a black fade in of 0.5 as well. And then we can just say that it starts to play the background music. And this one, we could just say fades out the title screen music. Now we don't have title screen music, we won't have it, but I just wanted to show that that's where I would do that. Okay, and so now the only thing that's left to do is to actually use the end scene condition. And so what we're going to do is in start game here, we're going to simply end the scene. I'm going to hit OK, and so end scene. So we're going to press uh, play here, hit start, and then it ends and goes to our first level. Now that took a long time. I might have put, did I put five seconds? We'll see here. Yep, I put five seconds. So that's why it took so long to fade in there. But yeah. Okay, so now let's go back to the, uh, this is where we would have the load. So quite simply, it would literally be, whoops, uh, load game. And then it's going to be if A is pressed. But not only that, you would also have to check for if, the it would be a variable no no it would be a switch so you'd also have to check if the uh, check file is on 
So if the check file is on and you press A, then you can load the game. And simply what it would do, I'm just going to, I'm, I'm not going to create a custom one like this. That was just to, to show how you would do that. You could then simply go to a change switch of the common and you can load a file and hit OK. We can actually test this out. So if we go to scenes and we go to just say this first scene here and we play and we run up to say right here, we can bring up our common variable switches here, which is in the debug common variable switches. And we can say save game. We don't have to have an actual save system in yet and we can close it. So we have saved a file that that's where the position that we're in. Now we can go to the title screen. We can have it start and we can play test and we can uh, get rid of this for right now and we can uh, go down to load press a and look we're now loaded in that position all right so i'm actually glad i was able to uh, just show that off real quick all right now options this is where i'm going to just go like this and say see my options video basically i do this in the uh, menu system I, I go over showing an options where you would change your background musics and stuff like this. I personally actually nowadays, uh, if you download my game jump jump, you'll see that I have a volume. It's not options. It's just called volume. And this is where I adjust all volumes. I tie all three volumes together and that's what you get. And then I have little icons on the side that go down. Um, that's how I like to do it nowadays, just cause adding an option screen, just yeah, sometimes not necessary. Okay, so yeah, see my options video for that. And let's see, now let's move on to credits. So we got credits right here. And we'll just say play credits. And this will be uh, on press as well. And so what we're going to do for the credits is we're going to do this a little differently. We're going to go to scenes here. We're going to go to the menu scene. We're going to add a menu scene. We're going to say this is our credits scene. And then we need to show some credits. So we're going to go to our resources here. We're going to add, uh, let's do this font. We're going to call this credits. And things get a little uh, crazy here because you have to really figure out what you want. So I'm going to do a line spacing of 20 here. And we're just going to do this. So I'm just going to say, I don't know, uh, tutorial by Baz, and we'll say, I'm, I'm making a lot of spaces because when it scrolls up, you want, you know, sometimes some spacing between there. Developed or developer. And we can say Baz, uh, pixel artist, Noob K. And then special thanks all of you supporters all right and that looks good everything's kind of spaced good it's going to be really hard to read but uh you can kind of get the gist of it and so now with our credits that we got we can go to our uh, title uh, credits and again, we don't need any of this. Now it's on a menu scene. I don't think it has gravity, but just in case. Actually, it might have gravity. All right. And so simply what we're going to do here is we're going to say uh, show credits. And we're going to add a scrolling text right here. And we're going to do the credits. And we're going to scroll it from bottom to top. That's good. We're going to make the scene, the, the uh, thing, the scene size. So it's uh, going to be a 120 by 180. And actually, I forgot, we're going to actually go uh, one more tile up, or maybe it's two more tiles up. Well, either way, I'm going to do 220 to be safe. That way we give a gap both high um, on the top and on the bottom so that the words can, can go up. And you'll see what I mean here in a second. We are going to give it a black background area. And then we're going to uh, center the words. And 
and then we will hide on object action change. Yes, we will. And then the speed input will be A. And then stop all during the motion. And this, this should actually be all that we need. So let's just uh, start this. Let's go to scenes. We're in our credits menu, right? And we're just going to plop this in right here. Uh, it put this on the HUD. So we're going to change this to the credits. And let's just center this. So let's put this on 160 by 90. And then the last thing that we need to do is we need to go to the control input and we need to go to play credits and we're going to call, can't remember where, where we call, uh, three right here, show menu. We're going to show the credits menu and we're, we're just going to let it go. Or I guess we could fade it in. Let's do that. Just point two real quick. And then we're going to hit okay. And now let's play that. So now we're going to go down to credits and hit play. And then it's going to start playing our scrolling credits. Tutorial by Baz, developer Baz, pixel artist Noob K. Special thanks, all of you supporters. All right, so, and then you can see that it ended and it, it quit showing it. However, it didn't go back to any of the, the normal stuff here. So this can get kind of hard to time but we're going to make it happen here. So we can see that this, uh, the scroll speed is, is one. So I'm just going to count just real quick how long it takes to, to go here. So I'm just going to preview it. Okay. So it's about 12 seconds. So what we can do is this, we can then say, add a link right here. And we can say that after 12 seconds, it's going to go back to credits and credits is going to hide all just everything and disable the objects. So you have the credits hiding it and then you have the uh, play credits showing it. All right. So we can see how this looks and hopefully it will look uh, decent. So we'll go to credits. Uh, normally I do all my timing stuff. You know, you could have a switch that says, you know, when it's ended, do this and stuff like that. So there, there's so many ways you could go about it. This is a very simple way. Okay, so that definitely was not enough time. So I would go back and do maybe uh, 16 seconds. I obviously cannot uh, do credits real well. And so I, I'm not gonna spend too much longer on this, but this would just be a way you would just adjust the, the seconds. If you wanted a real quick uh, screen right here. So it looks like it's going to be about right. Maybe a little early. Okay. So it was probably two seconds too long. So I'm just going to do 14 seconds and we're just going to leave it at that, but you get, you get the point. And like I was saying, there's a lot of things you can do where you can actually associate this with a switch. And then in the credits, you do the time right here and then turn the switch um, for the control input to go back to the credits. The whole point is, is that you do need to hide that menu eventually and that you need to show that menu. That's really the whole point. And if I'm doing it this way where I'm doing it by time, then I'm actually going to make sure that we can't increase the speed because I don't want them to speed up and then we're still waiting though for that time. And unfortunately, there is no check to know when this is done. So the only way to do it is with that time setting. And so it kind of limits a little bit in how we can go about this. Okay. So now let's go on to the control. The last one is exit. This one is super easy. You literally just go like this and you say you change a switch and the switch is the common switch and it's end game. And normally you will add a fade in. So you will go to two, apply a screen filter. You will darken the screen, all layers. And we could just say that it's a 0.5 fade in. Then I like to give a weight of just slightly little longer than 0.5. That way it's just, it doesn't just end at the very end. And then we're just gonna pull this switch all the way down to the bottom. And we're gonna say exit game. We're gonna hit play and we're going to fade out and then it exits. And yeah, so that's really all there is to it. Uh, 
very simple way to do, but you can just see that the general idea is that your inputs are right here. These are your options. And then what actually happens is just pulled off to the side. And you can see just how easy you can make them. You don't have to be extravagant. You don't have to have all these different things happening. You can literally make them that simple. And so, yeah, I hope this helped. I might throw up a template actually on uh, Baz or the uh, Baz Imports page, just because this would be just nice for people to see, I think. And so, yeah, if any questions, comments below, Steam Forms, Discord, we'll get you figured out. That said, we'll see you at the next video.